This is a story about a boy named Roy who lives in Florida with his parents in the small town of Coconut Cove. As a new kid from Montana, Roy is constantly picked on by the school bully, Dana. One day, as Roy is on the school bus, he sees a strange boy running without shoes along the street. He decides to chase the boy, but gets lost and is hit in the head with a golf ball. Meanwhile, the town of Coconut Cove is getting a new Mother Paula's Pancake House. However, the construction site has been the victim of various acts of vandalism. Eventually, Roy confronts the mystery boy who goes by Mullet Fingers. As it turns out, Mullet Fingers is responsible for the vandalism. Things become more complicated as Roy learns that Mullet Fingers is a stepbrother of a girl at school, Beatrice. Also, after Roy learns that Mullet Fingers is trying to protect the native burrowing owls that live on the construction site, he decides to help. In the end, Roy, along with several of his fellow classmates and friends, stand up against Mother Paula's pancake house, and the owls and land are saved. On the surface, this story talks about environmental protection and the lengths that some people will go to protect other living things. However, at what point do criminal acts justify saving the environment? And although the consequences are never legally discussed, it's important for readers to understand that there are consequences to such actions. More importantly, this story discusses how one person can and cannot make a difference. Initially, the movement to save the owls is started by one individual, Mullet Fingers. And as the story continues, Roy and Beatrice get involved, but it's not until enough people join in and take the stand that the owls are protected. So while it does take one individual to start a cause, it takes a community to follow through on it to see that it comes to fruition.